All right, so you've made the decision. You are going to be moving down to the Florida Keys. Well, we've compiled a list. We've helped a lot of clients you know, move and relocate here. These are the seven things that you must know before moving to the Florida Keys. And we're getting after it right now. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Jackson Wilkie. Sunny San Lorenzo. And Lee Sanders. That's right, we're the Living in the Florida Keys team. If this is your first time on this YouTube channel, you wanna learn everything about what it's like to work, eat, sleep, live, play, fish, boat, right here in the Florida Keys, make sure you tap that subscribe button and you click the little bell so you're notified every time we do a new video. And we honestly get so many uh, phone calls, reach outs, emails, texts from people moving and relocating here. We absolutely love it. So. Thinking about moving anywhere in the Florida Keys, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. Days, nights, weekends, we got your back when moving to the Florida Keys. All right, so this is a list, you know, you guys have been definitely here a long time, helped a lot of clients move and relocate. So kind of the top seven things you must know before making your move to the Keys. So um, we'll start with number seven and number one at the end is obviously the most important. So stay tuned for that one. Number seven, guys, um, is, is that initial phone call and reach out or Zoom call. What are you really trying to establish um, or the reason why they would reach out? Well, most people are coming from out of town, mm -hmm. so they'll call us and or they'll set up a Zoom call. And they have a lot of questions. They don't know the area, the size of our lots, houses, and they have a lot of specific questions, even though they can get a good view from Google and online, this gives them more um, specific information about the area. Yeah, so Lee, I mean, this is also something when people call and reach out, they can express to you a couple of different lifestyles, things they like, and it's already firing and triggering in your brain two or three areas maybe they haven't heard of, right? Yeah, absolutely. We, we find that, that uh, people coming down here uh, need to do a little bit of traveling around, uh, either by themselves or with us, uh, because everybody seems to gravitate to, uh, to different neighborhoods. and. You drive down US-1, it all looks the same, but once you get back onto the Keys, uh, the neighborhoods are very different. So uh, that's very important. Yeah, so you know, just that initial reach out, understanding your lifestyle while you're moving here, things you need to be close to, things you don't want to be close to, that is what really initiates the, the entire rest of this process. So the next one, number six, is uh, understanding the criteria and location. So, um, you know, just kind of talk about that. When, when they express these things, how can you break it down? Well, a lot of people, when they think of the Florida Keys, they first think of Key West, right. which Key West is happy, fun town. Yeah. And then they think about, well, we want to go out on a boat more. We want to enjoy our barbecues. We want to be close to some grocery stores. And they tend to move to different keys after that. Yep. And so really, when you say lifestyle, that is really important. What do they want to do when they come here? They want to do boating. That's really important that we look at the neighborhoods that have boat docks. Yep. Do they have a big boat or a small boat? So their criteria, bedrooms, bathrooms, which is all the standard things, plus I think the boating access here is the reason why people buy in a lot of our neighborhoods. Yep, for sure. So criteria location really can dictate the, the key you move to, the area you move to. So uh, again, that's the initial reach out when you have, you tell us all those things so that we can now go into step five. What are you doing for these clients? You know, a lot of them are here um, with the custom custom search. Well, we'll set up a custom search online, right. which we have great software to do that with. Mm -hmm. And that then plugs in their criteria, bedrooms, bathrooms, what kind of boating access they need. And of course, what's their price point yep. that they wanna stay within? That's certainly important too. Yep, and so the custom search is sent to you. It's up to date. Um, one thing we want to point out is with you know the markets going this fast, a lot of the online sites that you see, maybe the Zillows and stuff, they're not keeping up. So when those properties are sent, hey, I like this one, sometimes they can be uh, pending already. So you want the most up-to-date information, which is something you guys obviously can help out with. Okay, the next one is uh, with the relocation, we understand it really comes down to uh, a feeling. So. From Key Largo to Key West, the team, do you guys provide tours for people when they want to come search for their home? Sure, we, we our agents uh, are taking people out uh, looking through the neighborhoods every day. And uh, 
So no matter where it is in the Keys, yep. we're, we're, uh, we're traveling the neighborhoods and showing people around. And each neighborhood is so different. Yep. You could say, I want, I have a 25 foot boat and you can fit into all different neighborhoods. One neighborhood has a lot of landscaping. One neighborhood has very little <laughs> yeah. landscape. So it just depends. Certain styles of houses are different in different neighborhoods. So there is a different feeling when you drive through the neighborhoods and that is very personal uh, to the client. And plus there's there's all the limiting factors for, for people uh, depending on what they want, especially with their boating. So uh, if they're sailors or they're big boat people, uh, there's only specific neighborhoods that will work for them. So it, so our agents don't waste time taking them to places that won't work. Uh, that they'll take them to the to the areas where they can pull the yep. boat in up to the house. So that all boils back to that initial reach out. That's why it's so pivotal. Reach out, understand lifestyles, so that you know the agents can really hone in because there's probably two, three, four areas. Once you start really talking about the air, the, the things you like that you may not have ever have heard of, and so that is also going to help them to not waste your time where you're driving from Key Largo all the way to Key West. They'll be able to really hone in on that. And may I say something else? About Always. The other thing about the areas too, which, um, you know, we live down here, so we yep. consider it so much, is people's access to the Keys. Are they flying in? Are they going to fly into Miami or Fort Lauderdale and rent a car yep. and come on down? Do they live in South Florida? So maybe the upper Keys are closer. That's a better fit. Are they going to just fly into Key West and work up from Key West to the Lower Keys. So destination is important on how they're accessing the Florida Keys to what area might be the best suited for them, uh, you know, to yeah. get to. Yeah, and that's something too. Once you, you know, the, the conversation starts and hey, you know, these two, three areas might really fit your lifestyle. When you come here, if you're definitely flying in from somewhere farther, you know, trying to find an Airbnb or somewhere to rent in that area. So now you can feel that lifestyle and then, you know, that the team can, can pick you up from there and really go tour. So, Yes, the, you know, touring, trying to find that home is definitely something after we find the criteria that, that can be helped with. So number three on the list is probably one of the most important, especially during times like this, but um, I guess just talk, especially Lee, on, on the importance of local lending here. Yeah, our, our, uh, our local lenders are versed in the specifics of lending here in the Florida Keys, which includes wind and flood insurance. and. We've had a lot of deals fall apart because people will be up north somewhere, they'll go to their local banker and somebody that they've dealt with in the past, the banker's going to say, sure, I can handle your loan. And then when it comes to time to close, uh, yeah. everything, everything goes haywire because they don't, they're closed, they think it closes like a normal deal up there. And, and there are some specifics down here that uh, are can be difficult for, for up north lenders. So we always recommend uh, a number of local lenders to talk to and uh, that, that makes things go a lot smoother. Yeah. The other thing too, using a local lender is a local lender will work with the realtors. Yep. So they work with them often and we don't mind who you use, we just prefer a local lender and we'll tell you why. They have skin in the game. You use an out of town, out of state lender, they're not attached to anything down here. Right. And so that does make a huge difference. Yes, they wanna help you, but they're not as entrenched as getting the transaction closed as all of us are down here because the only goal is to get you into the property that you want. And with the market moving so quickly, these are really important details so you don't get knocked out. In fact, there are specifics now in contracts where a seller is putting in the contract buyer must use local lender because <laughs> yeah. they've already had a deal fall apart yep. and they understand now what we're talking about. Yep, so going to bat for you is something that's real pivotal and, and you're talking about some of these properties getting multiple, multiple, multiple mm -hmm. offers and so you've got to come in with the strongest one and, and the local lenders are going to work on your behalf uh, not only to reach out to the listing agents, but also who's going to be there nights and weekends when that may be the time when you're going to put this offer in. You need that person there as well. Um, so number two, uh, the second to last one is the entire buying process. Do they have to be here for all the important inspections or is that something the team handles? Well, that's a great question. <laughs> and we are so used to this after doing this for so long. And the majority of our, our purchasers are buying vacation homes, second homes, they're gonna be rental homes. So they, they come down here, yep. view the homes, 
and then their vacation's over and it's time to go back home. So we tend to write the offers digitally and then we have um, escrow, inspections, loan period. We manage all of that. And we have a lot of professionals that work with us that will recommend to help you along, get you through the process, get it closed, and get you into the house that you prefer to have. If someone is all the way up in New York, all the way west in California, do they have to be here for no, signing? That's a great question. No, um, we're, everything is mail away now and the Florida Keys are very used to it. So we've had out of town title companies that have trouble with that, but yep. locally, they're so used to that. Our local title companies and attorneys, everything's, they call it a mail away. Right. And it's just very simple and very clean um, how the documents get done, everything's legal. And by the time everything gets back, it gets closed and funded, and that's the end of it. Yep. There can be, on average, up to 28 different conversations with 20 different people on the closing of one home. So uh, there's a lot that goes on here, and so that is something that's taken care of for you. You just got to worry on getting here. Um, also, inspections you know, are a big thing here, too. Inspections are a big thing. We have some really good home inspectors, yep. and it also covers they do an inspection for your wind storm besides your electric and roof and all those good things. Right. They just make sure that everything is um, addressed that you would ask that they check for. Right. right. Lee's very big with the home inspection. He's usually available um, to be at all of our home inspections when our buyers are out of town. Yeah, so there are some specifics here that, that home inspectors do that they're probably not doing in other areas. One being uh, concrete spalling is a big issue in the area and uh, a, a skilled home inspector knows how to look at concrete uh, and, uh, and tell whether there's problems either happening or may happen in the future. Uh, people think that a concrete house down here is, is uh, indestructible and it's not. Uh, they're probably our best homes. However, they do need to be inspected properly. Yep. So the inspection process is something that, you know, obviously gets handled, but then uh, the team will go over that inspection as well. Nothing is fine. No. And I think also with our, Lee and I having yep. been experienced here for about, thir you know, over 30 years, and now we've got our team all trained, yep that we make sure those details are handled. Sometimes our clients will say to us, wow, that process was really great. They have no idea all that we're handling in the back yep. end. And we know when they say it was really good, they don't need to know everything that we're doing. It's just get it smooth and easy for them because Absolutely. the majority of our purchases don't live here. They have busy lives where they're from. This is just supposed to be a fun vacation home. And that's how we try to keep the process for them. Just keep it moving along and as least stressful as possible. Part of, and part of the inspection process, and one of the reasons that I attend our, our uh, inspections is that knowing what the problem is and being able to convey that to the customer who may be out of town is sometimes easier and better than seeing it on a, on a piece of piece. paper. Yeah. And because there, there typically aren't any problems that we haven't already seen, uh, they're all fixable. Mm -hmm. And yes. so uh, I, I think we have a, a pretty good idea of either who to contact or how to, how to fix uh, whatever problem comes up. And, and we, we see a, an inspection report as, um, it becomes a negotiating factor in some deals, but in others, it's something that either the buyer or seller accepts and fixes themselves. Yep, and that goes right into the last thing. You're probably moving here, you don't know many people, if any at all, and so do you guys have, does the team have a list of resources from basically the ceiling down to the grass? Yeah, we do, and, and uh, we have, uh, it's our um, secret list. We have, yeah, we have mul multiple people. Hey, these people have worked on movie sets, right? <laughs> yes. We have multiple people that we suggest. And, uh, and I think the other thing that happens there, because we've been here for a while, is that we're always looking for the next fresh face that does a good job. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, but it doesn't matter whether it's roofing, electric, plumbing, landscaping, concrete, dock. Um, we pretty much know all the contractors, yeah. we know all the players, and uh, we have no, no problem uh, recommending people. Yep, so it's really, I mean, you can see the process, it's 30 plus years of just really refining the relocation aspect. You know, a lot of these clients not doing it, not being here locally during the entire process. So that is the one thing we wanted to get out. You know, there's, there's a lot more steps, mm -hmm. um, you know, to this, but 
You just gotta focus on getting here, that initial reach out, understanding lifestyle, where you need to be close to or not close to. Um, that's really what starts this process. So the only way that we can help you is you got to reach out. You gotta give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. Days, nights, weekends, we got your back when moving to the Florida Keys. And until the next video, guys, we'll catch you later. Thank you.